Good morning everybody, welcome back to my channel, Belinda here from Visualize DNZ. We are back into a new week with the Deal It Up Challenge and today I've had a viewer ask if I would do the alternate um, project, so like we do a faux card or something else and I've uh, had a request to do the something else. So I'm going to challenge myself to do both the faux card and the other prompt as well. Now, if that doesn't make any sense to you because you're new to this, don't worry, it'll all come clear. So first up, Deal It Up Challenge, we are going to deal up our prompts from our selection of cards here. So each pile gives us a different prompt to work with. I had these ones out last week for Deal It Up Challenge number 61. And it wasn't until I got to the end of the video that I realised I'd never pulled a card from this pile. And I was like... Oh well, next week. <laughs> so we're throwing this one in next uh, next week, this week, for this challenge. So our first prompt is going to be the top one. A leaf or leaves is our first prompt. Okay, next one. I just do a, a brief, quick shuffle. It's as random as I can make it. Right. And I'm going to go middle of the pack. Let's go that one, which is sheet music. Nice. Going well so far. Okay, our next prompt. And I'm, if I feel like I'm rushing it, I am a little bit because I'm conscious that I've got to make two projects in this video. So let's see how we go with that. It could be a slightly longer video um, than normal. Normally these videos are around 30 to 40 minutes so we might just need a little bit of extra time to do the both prompts but we shall see. So let's go the bottom card for this one. Favourite colour. Always fun to work with one's favourite colour. Mine is deep red but every time I get this prompt I think what have I got that meets that colour and I have very little actually that meets that. Um, I do have some things that people sent me in Happy Mail, but not beside me. So, um, yeah, not sure what I'll do for that, whether I'll put you on pause and go get those items, um, or try and find them. Oh, I so need a good dung out here. Um, not throw things away, just organise. Like, get things under control. It's crazy, crazy. Okay, let's go this one. This is our alternate item, so we're going to make a belly band. So I'm going to make a belly band. Normally I'll put this one aside and you can choose to make that if you like, if you don't want to do a faux card. But I want to do a whole set of faux cards, so I'm doing the faux cards, definitely. Uh, but today, also going to make a belly band. So it's entirely up to you which way you go. You can do the faux card or the belly band or you can do both like I am going to. Completely your choice. Okay, and let's see what faux card we're going to be making today. If you're up for an extra challenge, then why not join me and make both? But absolutely you do not have to if you don't want. So I'm going to go the bottom one again. We're doing the Ten of Clubs. The... Um, figure on this card is actually based on one of my friends so it's quite fun all the characters are, are basically a caricature or a cartoon version of a staff member from my husband's workplace and this is one of my friends there okay let's get going I have my card base here ready to go this is I believe the last faux card of the size that I'm going with piece of the pizza box um, that I have left. It is a little damaged, it's been torn so I've just gone in with a bit of glue between the layers and kind of glued it together hoping it's going to be okay. Should be. This side's going to be collaged up so I think we'll be good. Right, so sheet music. I do have some in my scraps. So let's start with that. I will do the back of the card in a moment. I'm just going to grab a few bits out. Um, so that if I need to go put you on pause and then go grab something I will do that before we sort of get into it um, is my thinking 
Oh, well that's not much sheet music, is it? Can we do a bit better than that? <laughs> Might have to put you on pause just so I can grab my sheet music book. Or well, one of them. I've got multiple. Oh, here we go. Here's a bit more. Can we do oh, a bit more? All random scraps from different different sources. Is it tiny scrap? That's probably enough to work with anyway, so we'll leave it at that. So sheet music, a leaf or leaves. Okay. I do have this um, garden book here. And I'm sure we can find like the diseased leaves. Probably don't want to use a diseased leaf. But look, there's ivy, um, there's these plants that are mostly foliage. So I'm thinking we can grab something out of here. Okay, so we'll go with that for the leaf or leaves. Favourite colour. Okay, also belly band. Let's have a look at a base for that. So I'm thinking maybe I make them like side by side. Rather than doing one then the other. Um, is that tall enough? No, it's not tall enough, so I need something else. Well, here's a rather grubby offcut of um, cartridge paper. So I reckon we can go with this. It needs trimming down. So let's do that first up. Just kind of orient it myself and get things ready to go. I want to try and be efficient and it's not my strong suit so let's let's see how we get on so trim that up and how wide do I want it maybe about there just roughly measuring it's not entirely critical I'm just gonna go there that looks like a good a good belly band base to me. Uh, if you're curious, it's the height of my page, my typical page. Now, your height could be different because I work with A4. So my height is 8 inches or 20 and a half centimetres, just approximately. And width is a smidge under 2 and 3 quarter inches or just under seven centimeters so there we go not um, not important but in case you're wondering that's the dimensions for my belly band right favorite color I'm still stuck on favorite color so I think I'm gonna pop the camera on pause and I'm going to go hunt out some things and I'll be right back in the blink of an eye just hold the fort for a moment and I'm back. My little secret is I didn't actually go anywhere because I found behind me some of the Happy Mail. Um, the the people who sent my, me Happy Mail is kind of all blurging, blurging, merging together. Um, so it was either Lisa or Laurel. I, I'm sorry. I can't remember who because I've taken the note out to put in my personal journal and I can't remember which one of you so I apologize but it's starting to get a bit muddly in my head as to who sent what um, which is part of the reason why I tend to keep things with the the envelope that it came in so that I remember who sent it to me um, right so this tissue was sent to me and it is in this beautiful red which is going to be my favorite color portion of this prompt it's absolutely gorgeous. I have used a bit of this already in a previous project. I think that's probably all we'll need is just a, a portion of that. Right, so let's get going. Let's start with the easy bit with my card here. So I need black ink and a stamp block. And, oh, that's already grubby. Goodness me. Give that a wee bit of a clean. 
and I'm going to stencil it as normal so let's pop it on here and what stencil would I like to use and what color well my favorite color is deep red I haven't got a deep red actually I can use aged mahogany it's a deep rich ready brown and I think that will be great just looking for a sponge to use with it there we go I knew I had one somewhere so it's that you know sort of ready brown so that's going to be good let's grab out a stencil um, what do I want to go with today Maybe we'll go with this handmade one here. It's one of my hand cut stencils. I'm just gonna put, put it on there or there. Maybe there. Maybe sideways. About there. And let's do some inking. Trying to use a light touch so I don't get it super dark. So how are you all today? I hope you're having a good start to the week. I hope you had a fantastic weekend. It was super super hot here. I know there's a few of you that also live in sort of a similar area that would have had a really hot weekend as well. So I hope you survived that okay. Uh, got up to 33 degrees celsius here which is very very warm for us summer typically summer a hot day can kind of get up to like 30 31 33 is definitely pushing it up there some places got up to 35 um which yeah i can't even really imagine i don't know if i've ever been in a 35 degree except perhaps when i went to hong kong um, but that was a very different type of heat. It was very humid, whereas our heat over the weekend was quite quite dry, I think, from, from memory <laughs> that I can remember. Um, Saturday was the hottest day, for sure. And we took a trip down to the beach on Saturday night looking to cool off in the waves and couldn't go in the waves because there was literally hundreds well probably more like millions literally millions of jellyfish babies like they were this small like they were tiny they were small so no t tentacles or anything just like kind of like diamond shaped um huge jellyfish bloom with the high water temperature just wondering do i need something up here i'm thinking i do um and so I don't know whether they sting or not, the ones that were there, but it was just like not worth the risk because you would not be able to go in the water without coming into contact with multiple. Not just one, not just two or ten, but you would come into contact with like hundreds because it was so full. You could see the top of the water, the sea, was really weird. It's all sort of bubbly. And every wave that came in just led, left swathes of them on the beach. So that was a bit disappointing. Had to come home without cooling off my feet, which was such a shame because I was really feeling the need for it. Um, so we're doing the 10. Okay, so we need a 1 and a 0 um, because I have a condition where in the heat my legs swell up majorly and my gosh, they are so swollen. And so I wanted the, the water to cool them down and relieve some of the pain that is caused from that inflammation. And because the t skin gets really tight and it's very, very uncomfortable. So I was, I think I'm going to stamp them separately. Um, I was very disappointed. But fortunately it started cooling off and the temperature went down quite rapidly. So felt by the time we got home it was actually quite nice temperature. Right, so I'm going to stamp my 10. So start with the 1. 
But yeah, so I hope your weekend was good and it wasn't too insufferable. I'm coping very well with heat these days compared to what I used to, but not 33 degrees and two days of it, two days of those temperatures in a row, one of which I was out all day, so my feet were down all day and I was doing a lot of walking and, you know, just not a good recipe. Not really, so... Anyway, it was it was good, you know, and today is only like 27 degrees, not bad at all. I have got the fan on though, so if you can hear a noise in the background, it's the fan, just to keep things comfortable. There we go, here's our tin. And the club, so my little stamp set here, which was sent to me. In Happy Mail by Lisa so I do remember this one just love the stamp set Lisa I'm so so grateful that you sent it to me and I'm gonna go below I think below the 10 and do our stamp there so this is the writing side of my faux card I don't think we'll need that anymore so let's pop that away and my mahogany and we've done the ten of clubs so I'm just going to pop that card up the top okay good to go so this is the damaged edge and if this is to go in a pocket I don't want that edge to be the one going into a pocket and possibly catching so I'm going to make sure that's at the top and then work this way on the card okay I just need a wee sip of my drink I've got a little drink bottle here a cold drink makes a change from a tea or coffee doesn't it right will I see the text through this not hugely so that's good to know um, sheet music where did I put that so let's do a bit of collage up for a start. Um, where did I put that sheet? Oh my gosh, I'm losing my mind. Ah, here it is. Because I only had it like a few seconds ago. Kind of gone too far. And it didn't. Right, I think I want some of this under the tissue so that perhaps we get pops of it showing. Maybe we'll just go like that for a start. This could be the challenge actually, is using the same materials on both of the items and somehow making them look different. You know, obviously the shape and the purpose of them are different, but can we, can we do something where they both look quite different? Oops, I need to scoot that over a bit. There we go. So I'll trim around it soon. Oops, we don't need the cat here and there. Get rid of that. I don't know how many of my makes have end up with cat fur incorporated somehow. I don't notice it like I try and catch it as I'm making, but I'm sure there's some that gets through. There must be. Right, I think I'll work up this way. I'm going to end up with scraps. Something like that. Let's go with it. I might have to pop in some extra glue stick on the edges where I don't get it in the right place Oops. I'm get that crease out in the middle there stretch it out there we go so I could 
I might tear a bit more of that. I could tear it where the glue is or add more glue in. So there's a couple of ways you could handle that. And where I get the glue where it's not needed, well, it'll dry clear, so it should be fine. Okay. Trim that. The other thing that happened is last night I... Um, I must have been bitten on my hand. Well, I was definitely bitten. It's the question of by what. I first thought that it must be like a sandfly or a mosquito or something. Um, you can probably still see it. It's a little bit red here and it's definitely got a lump there. Um, but as I was sitting out over a period of, I don't know, an hour or something this morning or a couple of hours, I had already treated it for the bite that I the stuff that I normally use which is very good and it wasn't making any difference and then I it started spreading and I could see little red lumps sort of growing out from it and I thought I don't think this is a itchy bite and it's quite stingy I do believe it's a spider bite yeah not not a fan of the old arachnids and if they bite me even less so um, I suspect that's what it is. So my husband told me a trick of um, running a teaspoon under very hot water and then putting the teaspoon on it and it cooks the protein of the venom. So I did that and it's like it was literally this sort of red. So it's calmed down a lot since I did that. But I think I need to do it again because it's the itch is kind of increasing again. So maybe a couple of different times, you know, of applying the teaspoon let me tell you it wasn't fun it hurt it doesn't burn but it hurts it hurts like nothing that sounds really silly doesn't it, it hurts like nothing like but do you get what I mean like it <laughs> the, t the hot hot teaspoon on something that's very sensitive tender stingy and itchy was not pleasant but the effect was immediate like there was an immediate change in the look of it and the feel of it. So, just trying to work on my composition here. Maybe I'll just put a piece of that along the bottom to start with. I really should be using my glue book instead of this. So let's switch out. I did pull out, while I had the camera on pause, a brand new Reader's Digest. Um, because my other one is currently outside on the deck because it's got some very smelly paint in our new car um, I was fishing around trying to find the cover for my sunglasses because I couldn't find it, it wasn't where I put it so I, there's a basket under the dash in the front passenger so I was fishing in there to see whether it was right in the bottom and I found a, a touch up paint pen you know the kind that they use to repair scratches and things on a on the paintwork of a car and so when we got home from the beach I um, I bought it inside and I couldn't get the cap off so I thought oh maybe it's a screw cap so I started unscrewing it it's not an unscrew cap I was unscrewing the whole thing so I got it unscrewed it and then paint just poured out because it's got a red cap our car is purple, our new car, but it is actually paint to match our car. So that's awesome because it means we have a paint pen that we can touch up any issues with. But my gosh, the stinkiest stuff in the world and I got it all over my glue pages because fortunately I had that under it when I opened it so it just all sort of went on the glue book and my husband reacted quite badly to it. The, the smell was so strong he was coughing and, and choking on the smell. So I put everything that was contaminated with the paint outside <laughs> and it's still there. So I needed, all that to say, I needed a new glue book. Um, there wasn't much, like there's only you know that much left of the other one anyway. Right, my goal here is to try and make this different to... 
to the other one, to the to the faux card. Oh, do I like that side better? I think I do. Let's just put it on the other side of the belly band. So yes, a few stories coming out, isn't there? It was kind of like it wasn't an eventful weekend. We didn't actually do much. And yet I seem to have lots of stories. Um, hubby was actually supposed to be helping with a working beat on Saturday morning and we were like oh it's, it's super hot it's probably like this is for gardening working in somebody's garden to, to weed and stuff and it was like it's not really a good day for doing that sort of thing and she actually cancelled it so hubby was very industrious he did lots of washing clothes and linen and that sort of stuff got that up to date and he washed two of our cars and that sounds like we've got heaps of cars <laughs> he washed our two cars is what I should say um, what else did he do I can't remember so he's very very industrious um, all before lunch well all before 10 o'clock actually in the morning because it just was got hotter and hotter and hotter And he had a nap in the afternoon, well-earned nap for all that he got done. Oh, he'd emptied the dishwasher as well before I got up and refilled it. So, yes, he had earned his nap in the afternoon. And by the afternoon, it was just so hot, I had intended to record a couple of videos. I did not. I just sat and watched YouTube and played some games on my tablet I didn't even do any crafting, which is highly unusual. I just, it was too hot. I just couldn't, did not have the will or the energy to do anything. So yeah, it felt like almost a waste of a day, but you know, sometimes it's actually good to have that rest, isn't it? Right, I think I want some other bits, not just the music paper. So let's go in my scraps here book page. Is that wide enough? This is a bit of Spanish. Oh, we can... I don't want that blank bit on the edge, so maybe we'll just use the ruler to tear that down. And given that sort of heat, you know, it's, it's good to get things done when it's cool enough and then just relax for the rest of the day. Right, don't want straight edge on the bottom. So we've been having very easy meals as well that require minimal cooking so we're not running the oven. Typically Sunday night would be our roast night. Well, not this weekend. It's like don't need to be running the oven for two or three hours in this crazy sort of heat. So we're having things like salads and cold meat and, you know, good summer fare. But I do miss the roast because it provides meat for the rest of the week for lunches. And when we don't have a roast, it's slightly trickier to, um, to cater for hubby's lunches. I mean, I'm at home, so I can whip up anything. But he's got to take his to work, so it's, it, does, it does complicate things a little when we don't have that roast available. Use a bit of that. So we're not doing too bad actually getting both of these done. So we'll do a bit of hunting in the gardening book and see if we can find some leaves, probably leaves as opposed to a leaf. Um, to meet the other prompt. Right, so one little bit here, maybe another bit of book page text, I think. Probably finish with that.
Oops, that's flying all over the place here. Maybe a bit of this. This is some um, Wuthering Heights, I think. Oh. Hopefully this is wide enough once I've cut off those blank bits. Yeah, perfectly wide enough. And let's give it a funky, fun edge. Like so. Yeah, fun. Like that. Very happy with how this is turning out so far. Maybe this won't take as long as I thought, doing it this way. Doing both alongside each other. We shall see. Here we go, really like the look of that. Let's just trim this one up that I didn't finish trimming up. So these could be used in the same journal when it comes time to using my faux cards. I don't know actually know whether I'll use them in a journal or not. Um, I kind of want to see the whole set complete before I do anything with them, if I do do anything. Because I think that's going to be fun seeing them all together and doing a flip through, I think, will be very cool. Right, that's probably not worth keeping, so let's bin that. These I will keep. Right, so we have our faux card, so just remembering which bit I wanted at the top, the damaged bit at the top. So that way up. Do I want anything else or do I just happy with that? I think by the time we put a focal point on, I think that'll be fine. That can go away. Into my scrap bag. I need another drink. I've also got a glass of drink, so I'm going to have a sip of that. Mmm, great flavour. Yum. Right, gardening book. So we've got sheet music, we've got favourite colour, we've got belly band, so just the leaf or leaves to go now. Pop those just up out of my way and let's have a look what we can find. I'm just going to try doing a quick flip through, see what sort of grabs. Because I want something... You know, belly band's tall, and the journal card's not small, the faux card, so I need something fairly sizable, because I don't think something like that. See that tiny bit of paper stuck to my finger? There we go, got it. I don't think that's really going to cut the mustard, is it? Not big enough. So, looking for size, and that's all about the flowers. There is foliage, but it's not some trees here, some leaves, but again, a bit small, unless I look, took, took a section. That could, that could work, actually. Um, don't think there's... Um, Pot plants might be okay, but they're kind of not too exciting. So that's a possibility. Tree leaves. Vegetables. Veggies. Ferns and such like. Again, just on a slightly smaller sort of scale to what I need. Orchid leaves. But goes across the page not not so great bits that I've cut out already and there are leaves there that would have been good actually but the colour's not right like it's bluey purple so no let's keep looking I'm trying to think what else I might have to hand that would fit the bill the rose leaves on there. That 
that might not be too bad on the red because it's pink rose we took maybe that section let's have a go at that um, just pop that in there to keep that place that will go with that so something for our journal card oh a thistle no it's not a thistle sea holly hopefully i'm on camera guys <laughs> so you can actually sort of see a little bit of the book there's a flax Actually, I quite like that. Oh, there's Hebe. I love Hebe's. But I think the flax is pretty cool. New Zealand native flax. So let's go the flax. I think it's a good size for the, for the faux card. So. Okay, we've got our images of leaves. You could use pressed leaves for this or die cuts. Lots of different options. Now, do I want to square cut it? I'm thinking, yes, I'm actually going to square cut it rather than fussy cut it. Just, I don't know why, I just feel that way inclined. So I'm going to go with it. flower and this one oops I pushed that the wrong way I just felt that on my fingers didn't cut me or anything but it was just like oh that wasn't a good idea now I'm not sure whether I want to square cut this one but I'm going to start with that Mm. Maybe I'll square cut the top and bottom. And then here the sides, maybe. Right, let's go with this one first. So we've got, yeah. Don't know, there's something about that I really like. So I'm going to ink around it, but I'm also thinking I might round the corners. Our card corners are rounded. I very rarely put something rectangle on unless, like, it's a complete image that's already that shape. But I think, yeah, I think that looks really good. trim where it didn't quite cut properly right before I put it on I, I will ink as I mentioned but I'm thinking about whether I want to put anything slightly under it there's a little mark on the page which is a printed mark so like it's a printing error but the ink is happily just disguising that a little bit because it would keep drawing my eye I don't know if you noticed it it's just a little black few little black marks it's like it's not so distracting now because it's hidden under the ink a little bit yeah so let's do while we're at it let's do it around here it doesn't show up super well on the red tissue but it does hide the bits where I didn't trim it perfectly well So thinking a label maybe. Do we want a little label or a bigger label? 
here's like a temperature thermometer but no we don't want vertical um, these labels are from the junk journal studio and this is a mix these are the tiny labels from both the labels from days gone by volume one and volume two kits so i finally got them all cut out and i thought the mini the bigger labels are all separate to their specific kit but the small ones i've just put on all together because otherwise i'm going to end up with way too many containers no i think i want a bigger label so let's go to the volume two kit and i'm thinking maybe a oval or round That's kind of fun, isn't it? I like that. Um, so let's think around that. And maybe a word or something. Whoops. Knocking things over. Maybe I don't want a word. Do I want a smaller word? This is the wrong colour, but... Ooh, what if we do... thinking maybe it needs to be on the red rather than on the toning it you know too matchy on the music paper that's what I was wondering I know I know I'm taking forever to make fine tiny little composition choices I was also wondering about cutting the label in half and like putting half on one side and half on the other which is quite a fun little thing to do Oh, I like that. Okay. Sometimes you've just got to fiddle around a little bit. It's the way it goes. Right, so we're going with the word peaceful. Which is a state I feel very much in right now. Which is lovely. I feel very relaxed and happy, content. It's not super, super hot. Although we haven't hit the hottest part of the day. So we might still get up there a little bit but other than that I feel quite quite chill so to speak right I think I might use the tacky glue for this so I don't get glue marks on the front of my feature pieces we are getting towards being done people I don't know how we're going on time but I'll have a look in a moment I'm not going to take the time. I'm just going to crack on and see see at the end how we're done for time. Leaves, flex leaves, image.
got a paper maker around the corner from us and he builds the machines to make paper and he, he um, takes them over to the Pacific Islands and teaches them how to make their own paper. Um, and he often is seen out and about around the place on the public public areas where there's flax growing, collecting flax leaves to make paper with. So it's quite amazing and I've worked with some of his paper, it is beautiful, really really beautiful. He's got a big talent for paper making. Okay that's the faux card, let's do the belly band. So I'm thinking about tearing, so let's just go ahead and do that. I'm going to tear around these two rows, so the prompt is leaves, so it's just the roses are a bonus. It's a bit tricky trying to see which ones to include because I'm hoping that I can retain this for something else, not damage it too much. Some I'll just have to tear through because they overlap. That's a big bit of paper so it's hard to place my hands comfortably. Okay. Yep, I think that's going to be fine. And now I'm regretting doing that straight top. I should have left it. Never mind. You can probably still give it a little bit of a tear, a little bit of character. And I think I'm just going to go through that leaf there. That bit, not sure if I can use it. I'll probably use the text on the back. So it is slightly too wide. So we can probably trim it down a little bit here. Take it a little bit closer in. Whoops, I took off the tip of the petal. That's okay. But I think we still need to take it down a bit more. A little bit sticking out there. So if I angle it the way it's supposed to be, I won't be able to fit it on. But if I change the angle, so it's on a bit of a bit of a curve there, that's okay. We can live with it. You can take off this straight bottom. So I'm just going to take off the bottom of the leaf as well, and that's okay. And let's take off this carefully. Straight edge that I made at the beginning which I shouldn't have I think just right in the middle there so we will we'll link it I'm sorry I forgot the name of the person who um, wanted me to make the the item um, just my, my brain I think it's the heat I just have not retained that information but thank you for, for asking me um, and telling me that you wanted to see me do the other either item so I hope this is uh, kind of along the lines of what you were hoping for I'm always up for suggestions guys if you've got any suggestions or feedback do let me know and I'll try and accommodate if it fits with my schedule or what where I'm headed on any particular video I'll try and try and uh, do what you would like me to do as well as you know still doing my own thing uh, and doing what I need to I, I'm quite happy to hear your requests Right, uh, do I want anything under it? Hang, hang fire. Do I want a label under it or over it? Um, what sort of shape? Just go for a 
rectangle. Oh, that's quite nice. I like that. Do we want to go two labels? You know what? I'm going to do two labels. Because why not? There's no rules that says you can't have two labels on something. You know, typically I would do groups of three of something. But we've got three elements because we've got the, the rose leaf image. And then we've got two labels. And that's a group of three. They're not all the same, but does that matter? I, I'm i going to say no. It's my my story and I'm sticking to it <laughs> have you heard that expression do you use it it's my story and I'm sticking to it it's kind of used when you acknowledge that it might not be the case but that's how you're going to personally understand it and you're going to stick with it doesn't matter because that you know at the end of the day it doesn't really matter so I'm gonna put that right on the edge I think but yeah And then this one I think I'll put right on the edge on the other side. I'm busy thinking too whether I want to add anything like lace or fabric or something. So yeah, I'm going to put that there might be nice with a bit of lace or something on it add some of that dimension and texture in I might have a look at the time though once I've got this down see whether we've got time to do that I'm feeling like we should have I don't think this has taken as long as I thought it might but who knows I'm just having fun so when you're having fun time seems to run away on you Oops, oops, pull it over slightly. There we go. Oh yeah, we're almost at time, so it definitely has taken longer, about what I thought it would. About, you know, closer to the hour mark than the half hour mark, for sure. But, let's see if there's something here, just quickly that kind of jumps out and goes yes put me on because I'm going to look pretty a little snippet here no this little it's got blue paint on it It's not long enough. Um, got some of this lace with the, I don't know what you call it, with that edging on it that makes it kind of curl up a little bit. Oh, it's all tangled in my container. I, I like that, but it's a bit ridiculous. I mean, imagine that in the middle of your page. It would just, yeah. No, I should have, if I was going to put lace, I think I would have needed to do it beforehand. Unless I put it underneath. Oh, now that I like. But I would have preferred it down both sides. Um, and I don't have enough. I've got a thin lace here. Oops, so tangled in my container. I seriously need to sort my laces. And this is just my little to hand bin, not my main container. I am going to do that. And I'm going to put it down both sides and then I'm going to put a backing so I won't do it on camera I won't do the backing on camera 
so that backing goes over the lace so when you put something behind the belly band it's not going to run into the edge of the lace um, because if that happens then eventually the lace is just going to come unstuck and we don't want that so I'll put a backing on this little belly band but I'm not going to hold you up by doing that on camera I'll just put the lace on camera so you can see the look of it okay back my page here I don't want a word on this one I think it's fine without right this glue is probably going to come out at me like some sort of Mount Vesuvius because it's warm oh made a suction-y sound when I opened it no it's proving me wrong it's not rushing out to meet me Not sure which side is the right side doesn't really matter can't see on the white paper just trying to make sure it's on this straightish That's pretty good. Okay, let's put the other side on. And I've made it slightly longer and I'll just trim off the excess. I'd rather make it slightly longer and trim off just a tiny wee snippet than make it too short. Because if you make it too short and then stretch it when you've glue it on, it can make your piece curl. And I don't want that. So. Oops. it over try and make sure it's kind of even didn't do too bad with that one right from that and that see just minimal waste there okay now I've got this big bin of lace or not big, but thin of lace exploding all over my desk. Oops, don't need the book page in there. Just kind of smush it down, try and get the lid back on. Whoops, ribbon, get in there. And get my hand out. Before I end up with a giant mess. Okay, so we are done. We have done two projects. So we've done the faux card, which is the ten of clubs, and we've done a belly band. So let me go. So ten of clubs, belly band, and favourite colour. So my favourite colour is deep red. So we've used the tissue there, and sheet music, and then a leaf or leaves. So I've done that so we've met all the prompts and made two items and I'm really happy with both I think they are both really lovely and it helps that it's in my favorite color because how can you go wrong okay guys thanks so much for joining me I hope you find this inspiring please share with me if you make anything hashtag deal it up challenge on social media or pop it into my Facebook group visual vibes love to see you there or even email me if you're not on social media Okay guys, take care, stay cool, and if you're in a cold part of the world, stay warm, and I'll be back with Trashcraft Tuesday. See you then.